A pioneer in the Twin Cities craft brewing world is closing its doors. Dangerous Man Brewing will close their Northeast Minneapolis tap room in October. But as our Jason Rantala shows us, this won't be the end of the beer that helped bring the microbrewery boom to the Twin Cities. For more than 10 years, Dangerous Man has been a craft brewing staple in Northeast Minneapolis. But on Friday, an announcement on social media. They're shutting their doors. Quite an emotional time. Rob Miller owns Dangerous Man alongside Sarah Bonvillet. Uh, I think we were like the 26th brewery in the state that opened. Miller says they rented their space at 13th and 2nd and that the landlord put the building up for sale a couple years ago. He says the building had become increasingly expensive and out of their price range, leaving someone else to buy the building. It's been freaking really amazing just to see the growth. But Miller says the tap room took a hit post COVID. They just weren't seeing the sales they once did. We really didn't want the business to just kind of die a slow death. So the couple opened a production facility in Maple Lake to sell their product outside the tap room, hoping to offset the losses and keep their brand alive. It was either like we need to close the tap room down and be done and just do something completely different or we need to you know, start a different part of our business, add to the business, diversify our income. Future plans are still to be determined. We're going to take some time to just kind of reevaluate. There's a lot of ideas we have, you know, having an event space on our farm with music and beer and food and potential tap room maybe down the road is not out of the question. Future plans with the building will be announced Monday. Miller says they're definitely not done. Their beer will still be available on liquor store shelves. We continue to want to continue those and really continue being a part of this industry. Jason Rantala, WCCO News. We asked about what the closure means for Dangerous Man employees. The owners say they are not commenting on staffing and layoffs.